Right, 3.4, which is the last question under question 3. It's with regards to red island customers. We are told to refer to information F and H. Rent island customers, the owners of the property Propco LTD, informed the directors of Blossom LTD of the increase in rent planned with effect from 1 April 2021. In order to economize on rent, the directors asked the owners Propco LTD for a reduction of the area rented from the 1st of May 2021. Propco LTD agreed to this request. Calculate the reduction of the area rented in square meters. So we want to know the reduction again now in the area rented. So if you look at the rent budget, the rent budget for May, if you look at the rent expense, it's 39,960. 39,960, that's 3.4. 39,960. This is our budget for the rent for May. And we are renting 120 square meters. So we want to know how much does each square meter cost? 39,960. 39,960 divided by 120 square meters. So each square meter cost 333. So if now we look at the amount paid, the actual amount that we paid for rent, it is now the actual amount is 31,968. When we had budgeted 39, 31,968. And if you divide this by this amount, which is 333 per square meter, 31,968. If we divide it by 333, we are getting now 96 square meters. 96 square meters. So the question is asking us to calculate the reduction in square meters. We were renting 120 square meters. Now we have paid for 96 square meters. So the reduction will then be 120 minus 96, which equals to 24. So we are, the reduction is 24 square meters. So which is our final answer. We had budgeted 39,960 when we are renting 120 square meters. So each square meter is 333. So if then we look at the amount that we paid, which is 31,968, and divide it by the amount of each square meter, we can be able to know how many square meters we paid for. So we paid for 96 square meters. So from 120 square meters to 96 square meters, we can see that the reduction in square meters is 96. So that was 3.4. Uh, which was the last question under question three, which is budgeting. So let us pause here for now in question three and then just take a water break and come back to question four for stock valuation.